This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, May 30th, through this coming Sunday, June 5th, 2016. And this week, <laughs> I am told by Spirit, continues with upbeat energy to help you recognize that you've been doing the hard work and you've been considering the details of getting things on track to realize your dreams. So give yourself credit and know that things are flowing and falling into place. We tend to focus upon the linear timeline, but spirit and synchronicity operate outside of our self-imposed time frames. So have faith, all is well. Keep your focus on goodness and your desired outcomes. And if you find yourself frustrated by what you may feel are stalls in action, don't get bogged down in that idea or that moment. Return your focus to what's important to you and to your desired outcomes. Re-identify with the smallest details of goodness to jumpstart again your flow of happiness. And also, this is really important, remember to honor yourself and your dreams, not the wishes and ideas of another person or any outside influence. Things are only going to flow if you are true to your heart's desires. So this week, we are using Angel Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. This beautiful artwork by Steve A. Roberts. And we have our three rows, Money, Success, and Well-Being. And let's see what cards we got this week. I'm going to lay these all out. There's your money row. I'm going to go over each card to give you a complete reading for the energy of this week and how you can use it to your best advantage. And there's well-being. Nice array. All right, we're starting with renewal. Perfect card to remind you, let go of all that baggage. Let go of all those things that are no longer serving you. Maybe that's the hiccup and you're moving forward. You keep dragging these old bags along behind you that are way too heavy and are filled with things that don't belong to you. So you need to let that go. Those things are just going to keep bogging you down. So it's time to recognize it and just kiss it goodbye because you don't need it anymore. They're also asking you review and evaluate. What is it that you want to create? This beautiful Archangel Jeremiah standing out here guarantees your success and is giving you this beacon, this purple beacon of come this way. This is your resurrection. This is your time to shine. All these choppy waves with these emotions. Let that go because the sun is rising behind this beautiful archangel to remind you that it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Let's start with new energy for what it is you want to accomplish. And it's time to move in a new direction, absolutely. No longer drag the bags and no longer keep going down the path that isn't satisfying to you. So, very powerful energy to start our reading for this week. Then we have the beautiful Queen of Air, who is the Queen of Knowledge, to remind you about objective decision making. See how she's staring at this beautiful globe? What's in that globe that you want to create? You, <laughs> and I love it, here I'm reading, clearing away, that all, clearing away all that no longer serves you. She's completely connecting to the card of renewal and reminding you, yeah, you can't keep bringing that stuff along because you're just going to keep getting more and more of what you don't want. When you're focusing on what you don't want, that's exactly what you're getting. More of what you don't want. So it's time to gaze into your crystal ball 
and decide what it is you want to create. Intellectually, let's create from your heart. Let's create. You are independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. And you also have these people to help you. So please, yes, clear away all that no longer serves you. Lighten up. See the humor for your success. And make those decisions for what you want to see in your crystal ball. For what you want to see start happening in your life. And then the Knight of Earth, he's about things happening. He's about things, going on a quest. And the beautiful Knight of Earth, he's promising you long-term financial goodness. And this is your money row, so that's important to you. He is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. And he's reminding you it's time to buckle down and get things done. Using your attributes of being loyal and dedicated, honorable, and kind. So honor those commitments because you're surrounded by help. Not only by your counsel of loving guides and angels and loved ones, you have guardian angels helping you as well that are completely dedicated to this quest of your success, your money success. The Knight of Earth says you've got all the tools, so you're going to reap that long-term financial success that you want. And now moving on to success, we're starting with the Two of Earth. Sorry, <laughs> Two of Air. The Two of Air says you need to make a decision that maybe you're just kind of got some blinders on and you're not paying attention. But once you make that decision, you're going to have all the clarity that you need. This is making a choice. So don't, you know, take that blindfold off. Don't keep feeling like there's, you know, a problem or no problem, the stalemate. That energy is all just holding you up and it's unnecessary. Is it, it's not serving you. So go ahead, pick your choice, and follow that path. They're, they're pointing out renewal to me again. This is a new path. This is a bright future. It's going to turn out all right. You're going to be okay. Some of us don't like to make decisions because it creates an imbalance. That's a Libra trait, and I'm a Libra, so I know all about it. But once you make the decision, then things return to equilibrium. It all works out. And the star, beautiful star for your success, reminds you to have hope. Realize that there's happy times ahead. So make those positive, optimistic, long-term plans. And the guys jump right in and say, don't say happy times ahead. Focus on happy times now. What is it now, that now goodness? Because you're on the right path. These cards have helped you make a decision. So by the middle of the week, you're going to understand the right path. And I always feel her jugs, all those that water pouring off there is just emotions. This is releasing those emotions. This is absolute renewal and queen of air energy of just releasing those things that are no longer serving you. Those things that you, those emotions, people, circumstances, situations, core beliefs, whatever it is, those are things you no longer need to be carrying with you. So let it all fall away. Allow Archangel Jophiel to help you with that. And keep your eye on the star because that's your hope. That's your long-term goal. That's your greatest happiness. And then we've had the beautiful Queen of Air, and now we're going to have the King of Air this week. A week of helpful knowledge, people helping you. He says, okay, all this stuff's come into order. So by the end of the week, you're going to be able to speak your mind. Have confidence in what it is you want to express. You are brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. And you also have helpful people around you that have these attributes to give you this professional advice, to remind you that you know what it is that you need to understand. And this balance of mental and emotional considerations, you need to use your mind, but you need to follow your heart for your greatest outcome. So 
beautiful. I love this. Speak your truth. Speak your mind. Have confidence. Everything's going to come your way because you've let go of the baggage and you're seeing the truth and you're making a decision and you have the hope. You're letting go of all those things. And then now for our well-being row for this week, we've got two aces here. So that's sort of new beginning energy. The first one, the ace of air. I've had a lot of air in this reading with the king and the queen and also the two. The ace is reminding you to pay attention to those brilliant new ideas, those brilliant inspirations, because you're ready to embark on those paths. Don't just sit there and think about it and go, oh gosh, isn't this neat? <laughs> go ahead and take some action, because you've got the tools, you've got the resources, everything's lining up, and you're seeing the truth. So yes, it might be a bit challenging in the beginning, but it's going to turn out well. It's going to turn out. All these cards show you that beacon is shining. This is your star of hope. Everything is going to turn out really, really well. Maybe even better than you imagined because it's like those timeline limitations. What we want and what we expect is sometimes a little bit less than what divine order has in mind for us. They know better this amazing expansion that's going to really, really make you happy. Really, really make you, you know, have all this ace opportunity of what is the most wonderful for you. And then these two water cards are about relationship and love, and they're also about your own intuitive and psychic connections. So, I kind of want to read these together. You've got the Ace of Water, which is a new beginning in love, a new emotional beginning. This can be a love person. It can also be doing what you love. Those affairs of the heart, whether you're painting a painting or starting a new business or starting a new relationship or starting a family, or buying a home, any new beginning that you are emotionally invested in. This card is telling you you're ready, it's time, and you've got success around this. And this beautiful spiritual growth and enhanced intuition is another benefit. Here you've got heightened psychic abilities. This perfect new person entering your life they are intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly, and so are you. Pages are messengers. Pages are, it's, it's fresh, young energy, and you're ready to embark on it. And if you're in a relationship, it's telling you that it's starting a new phase. So allow love, allow all the things that you're passionate about in every category to just soar by the end of the week and allow your own intuitive knowing to guide you because that's coming to you as divine guidance and it's coming to you from your soul and your heart and your higher self and your guardian angels and it's absolutely the best beautiful confidence and advice you could ever receive. Make sure it's guided by love because if it's not, then it's coming from your ego. And your ego loves drama and fear. So if your thoughts are negative, realize you're not in tune with that beautiful divine guidance and soul connection. So just take a deep breath and thank your guides and counsel for allowing you to be guided by love. Then pay attention to what you're getting. Because that's going to be the true heartfelt, soul-directed, part of your soul map and life purpose guidance that's going to give you the greatest happiness. And I would love to help you in any way that I can. I would love to give you a reading to connect you to your beautiful council of guides and angels and help you understand how they are working in your life you know, better so you understand how to communicate with them to get all the things in alignment that you want to get into alignment. 
and it also gives you understanding and clarity and answers your questions. You can connect with loved ones. A reading is a beautiful place to find some tranquility and confidence in your life. All the information is on my website, which is spiritpathways.net. So have a beautiful, wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.